Oh, this one comes to you straight from Florida, so you know it's good, guys. So we have men at a Florida hotel. These are older men, and I think they're 50s and, and one's 81, who pose as U.S. Marshals to avoid wearing masks, authorities say. So they're just, like, chilling at this resort. Um, this is Walter Wayne Brown Jr., who's 53, and Gary Brummett, uh, who is 81. Um, they were asked for their faces. The men refused. They threatened to arrest employees and saddle the hotel with a fine. Um, and, but the scheme collapsed. One employee thought they were acting suspicious and called police um, officers and a real U.S. Marshal, not these fake ones, um, arrested and the men on charges of impersonating a federal officer. What's particularly interesting, though, is one of the men brandished a laminated card that said he was a Marshal of the Cherokee Nation. I actually went and did a little background stuff and couldn't find that either one had any connection to the Cherokee Nation. Uh, but it's pretty interesting because you always see like these white men are like, my grandma was a Cherokee princess. That's these dudes. It's funny you closed on that because Jennifer, a lifetime ago, I dated a woman that claimed she was part Cherokee. It is really amazing how many people in this country, it's like half the country is part Cherokee. It's, yeah, everybody's got a Cherokee grandma, princess. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, right? Her claim was part Cherokee, if I remember correctly. Yes. I, I don't remember um, if that was, might have been, I don't know. Hey, Malcontents, because I know we got smart people to watch the show. Give us the 411 in the comments. We'll go, I, just all of that to get out of wearing a mask. I, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. You have to like laminate some fake badges. Like just put the mask on, dude. It's fine. <laughs>